Welcome to all our viewers for a special episode on Indigo's flight 2142, which went from Delhi to Srinagar on May 21st, 2025. A quick disclaimer from my side, I am not an aviation expert, neither I am an aviation security expert, neither I am any pilot. I do have interest as a layman, as a technical person in aviation, in flying, as well as in airports. So that's where my limit ends. The today's episode, whatever information I'm giving you, has been taken from public sources. One more disclaimer is that this is not an official version of the incident. If you are quoting this video, please carry forward this disclaimer. As I said, I'm going to talk about flight 62142 from Delhi to Srinagar. The scheduled departure time of this flight was 4.55 p.m. and the scheduled arrival of uh, this flight at Srinagar was 6.30 p.m. The photo on the right you can see which uh, today is all over the press. The radome of the flight has been badly damaged. The front nose of an aircraft uh, houses the weather radar inside. So this cover over here is known as the radome. So what I'm going to show you today in this video is going to be very interesting. I suggest you have a look at the complete video. Firstly, I'll go through the weather pattern over North India on the evening of May 21st, 2025. Weather plays an extremely important role in our aviation industry. I will then further show you the flight path of 62142 all the way from Delhi to Srinagar. This will show the ground trace, the height and speed of the aircraft during the entire duration of the flight. Third, I'll show you the actual place where the aircraft hit turbulence and how going over the Pakistani airspace would have saved the day. They would have avoided this in incident. And then the amazing landing of the brave pilots and an injured aircraft. There is quite a lot uh, already written about this incident uh, in the press. So I'm just going to once reiterate the official version which has come from the DGCA, the Directorate General of Civil Aviation. On 21-5-25, Indigo's Airbus 321neo aircraft registration number VTIMD operated flight 62142 while cruising at FL360. This means at 36,000 feet, the aircraft entered hailstorm and severe turbulence near Pathan Kot. As per the crew statement, they requested northern control which is the in, uh, under the Indian Air Force, for deviation towards left, that is the international border, due to weather on the route. However, it was not approved. Later, the crew contacted Lahore to enter their airspace to avoid weather, but the same was refused too. Crew initially attempted to return, but as they were close to the thunderstorm cloud, they decided to penetrate the weather. Subsequently, they encountered hailstorm and severe turbulence. And why do I say the aircraft was injured? Just look at this para which has been uh, given by DGCA. The crew chose to continue at same heading to exit the weather by shortest route towards Srinagar. While in thunderstorm cloud, warnings of angle of attack fault, alternate law protection lost, Backup speed, speed scale unreliable were triggered due to updraft and drown, downdraft encountered by the aircraft. The autopilot tripped and the aircraft's speed had wide variation. As a result, maximum operating speed and maximum operating MAC warning and repeated stall warning were triggered. During this period, the aircraft rate of descent reached 8,500 feet per minute, crew flew the aircraft manually till they exited the hailstorm. So if I tell you in simple terms, the two pilots were in the cockpit 
and all these warnings were coming at them simultaneously there were too many things which kept on failing and finally they had to take control of this very modern aircraft uh, to fly it manually dgca further says after carrying out all checks list actions crew declared pan pan i'll tell you what pan pan means to srinagar atc and requested for radar vectors and made a safe landing with auto thrust operating normally at least something in the aircraft was operating normally there was no injury to any passengers on board the flight post flight walk around revealed the damage to the nose radome so that's about the incident and now i'll take you through the detailed data before i start talking about the weather conditions a few technical term clarification the normal rate of descent of an airbus 321 when it starts its descent when you are sitting in the aircraft and it's reaching its its destination at many times you might have observed that the engines are at idle now that's when the aircraft starts its descent towards its destination and the normal rate is 1500 to 2000 feet per minute now this uh, indigo flight during turbulence it was descending at the speed of 8500 feet per minute that is four to five times more than the required rate you can imagine the conditions of the passengers inside they would be experience seeing a roller coaster ride the other is the term used uh, pan pan by the pilot now this is an international standard urgency signal used to declare that help is needed but the situation is not immediately life threatening it's a less urgent call than the one you may remember called mede which indicates a distress situation pan pan is often used for situation like engine failure low fuel or other problems that require assistance but are not yet life threatening now the good thing to note here is that since the pilot sent out a pan pan message that means at no time they thought that there is a life threatening situation the passengers have made certain videos and did experience extreme condition but the pilots at all time during the flight were fully in control now let's look at the weather pattern on 21st may 2025 now this uh, information as you can see i've taken from the satellite bulletin from indian meteorology department the time is 1200 utc which means around 5:30 in the evening uh, that's roughly the time when the aircraft experienced turbulence at uh, over punjab that's around uh, this point this is the western dis- disturbance at that time you can see the extent it's all over himachal extending over jammu region and uh, into haryana now uh, the same area if you can see here this is the same uh, satellite image but taken at 1800 utc which means like 1130 pm you can see how this uh, weather system has moved this weather, weather disturbance it has moved from jnk and punjab and has come over himachal and haryana and over delhi i believe delhi got a hail storm or a dust storm that evening which was due to this uh, western disturbances so in about 6 hours this uh, fellow has moved from all the way from jnk and has come down to haryana one more thing to note about this western disturbances is that if you notice the color of this cloud pattern it's absolutely white much more whiter than the surrounding now people who are trained to analyze satellite images they will immediately say that this cloud is extremely high that's why the pilots encountered this even when they were flying at 36000 feet now another point to note i'll just zoom into this image uh, pathan kot or uh, gurdaspur is, is somewhere here where my cursor is now once you enter that area and there is turbulence the only way you can avoid this turbulence is to go left that is towards the west which is pakistani airspace 
Now, if you try to turn right, you're going to hit even higher clouds. There will be much more thunderstorm and hail to the right. Uh, the pilots sort of got stuck at this point. Uh, they were not given permission to go left where there were no clouds. You can see that Pakistan, over Pakistan, there is no cloud formation. Uh, Lahore was operational, Sialkot was operational. So they could have actually flown over this area and gone along uh, uh, the international border and then re entered from around Lucknow. But that uh, permission was denied. While on the ground, you can see how much damage that day was caused by the same system. These uh, pictures I have got from Kurukshetra, uh, May 21st, 2025 evening. Uh, I have some family members there who share these pictures. The entire road was damaged, the trees were uprooted and even cars got damaged. So the weather warnings by IMD were well in place that day. In its um, 12 uh, UTC or 5.30 p.m. IST bulletin, they said that intense to very intense convective thunderstorm activity observed over Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, East Punjab and Haryana, Northwest UP and ne Nepal, Bihar, etc. Now I'll take you through the flight path of 6C2142. Uh, when you see this uh, flight path, just keep in mind the images which I have shown, keep in mind that the weather pattern was not too good that day, especially near Gurdaspur, Pathan Kot and Jammu and Kashmir. I'll be showing you the flight path from the, fl uh, from the site Flight Radar 24. Now, the aircraft in question is VTIMD and uh, that day it had already flown from Cal Calcutta to Delhi in the morning from 6.25 to 8.55, then Delhi, Goa, Goa, Delhi, and then on the last leg, it was supposed to do Delhi, Srinagar, and then come back. Uh, the return flight from Srinagar never took place because of the damaged aircraft. So this is the flight I'm going to show you, and I'm going to play it back. So I'll uh, start this playback. Uh, at the bottom, you will be able to see the altitude, the ground speed, and the vertical speed as this uh, flight goes from Delhi to uh, to Srinagar. Now, the path uh, you can see very well. It goes right over Punjab and then comes uh, close to Amritsar from where it turns right. And remember, there's a big cloud formation all over here, so the flight actually can't turn back. So let me uh, start this playback and I'll zoom in when necessary. So, so I pick up the aircraft when it's uh, around about 20,000 feet. It has just uh, crossed the Delhi approach control and is moving towards Batinda, Hisar and then on to Punjab. You can see uh, the progress over here and I will keep zooming in into this image. Uh, around about uh, this place is when it reaches its uh, cruising altitude of around uh, 30 th of 36,000 feet. Now I'll just uh, make a stop here. Uh, this is 12.05 and the satellite picture which I showed you is of 12 GMT. So that cloud formation and this is the position of the aircraft uh, at that time. So let's uh, continue uh, the flight keeps progressing, nothing untoward. Now, till it reaches somewhere here, when they find that there's a huge cloud formation and they may not be able to go take that path, and probably, this is, I'm just guessing, they might have contacted Lahore at this point of time, or the Indian Air Force or whomsoever, and permission was denied to go to Lahore. Remember, there was no cloud formation over uh, Lahore. Lahore was operational. Sialkot was operational. So then the pilot said, now, don't have any choice because there's a huge cloud formation over here. Even if they try to turn back, they will end up being hit by the storm. So they decide to go through the storm. And that's, uh, they take a right turn. And this is where 
around this time, the turbulence is going to hit. You keep a watch on these figures down here. It's still at 36,000 feet, and let's see, zoom in, and still at 36,000 feet, and now we are reaching Gurdaspur, and that's the time actually that when they hit the turbulence, and now something starts happening. It's down to 35. Ground speed is going up, and this is exactly the place where it's hit. It's, this is the place, just uh, before Pathan Court. And all these parameters you'll see, they will keep, keep fluctuating badly. Vertical speed minus 7500. The speed indicators are showing anything but everything. 33,000 feet. They try to climb up, and then there is a dra drastic descent after this. After Patan Court, they really come down. You see how fast, 3,000 feet uh, per minute, they are falling down. And that's really crazy. It's very scary if you happen to be inside the aircraft. And then they try to balance out at uh, 20,000 feet and go over the mountain ranges. Now that's also very difficult. Most of these ranges are 15 to 16,000 feet. They flew over them and then they reach uh, Srinagar. Now there's one last thing I'll just show you here uh, before I wind up. Uh, if you see this loop over here, they make one loop over um, Pulwama and Shopian before they land. So even though they had given a pan pan message to Srinagar, they still, for some reason, made a loop. They did not do a direct descent and a direct landing. One loop was made at 9,000 feet, and then they came into land. Now. We don't have any information why this was done. And finally, the aircraft comes into land, and this is Srinagar Airport, and it lands pretty safely. 227 people were on board that day. Not a scratch to anyone, not an injury. The plane was injured. It suffered uh, nose damage and multiple other problems. Yet these two pilots saved the day for everyone. A big salute goes out to these Indigo pilots and we hope safe flying for everyone in future. Thank you very much for watching this episode.